Hey Geeks, we're here for another edition of Geek Culture Live Unboxing. So today we have... Grand Admiral Thrall, the Star Wars Black Series. This was the San Diego Comic Con 2017 exclusive uh, by Hasbro. As you can see, initially very, very beautiful presentation. That's what caught my eye. I walked into one of our local toy stores and as I was getting ready to leave, I saw that and I was like, Thrawn, Black Series, gotta have it. Now, as I, as I was finding on the internet, I was looking around because I wanted to find out, did they make the diecast versions? Because I collect the Star Wars Black Series, but I collect the Elite Series, the all diecast. Right. I like the six inch series, but I'm not a fan of it. I'd rather have it in the die cast. And so, again, let's show you some of the packaging. You've got, you know, Thrawn's uh, trademark blue, light baby blue on the packaging. You've got a little description of the Admiral on the back side. And then again, again, Disney did a great presentation with this. I mean, the, the box sold me. Not that I really wanted to jump to spend a hundred bucks, but it was Grand Admiral Thrawn. Now, when you get it out of there, it looks like you have a Star Destroyer of sorts on the back of the box, and it's got some really neat graphics. Again, uh, I guess that's Thrawn's uh, symbol. It looks like snakes. So you've got intertwined snake heads. Very nice presentation. Turn it around, open it up. And there you go. Almost like you're right there on the Death Star itself. You've got the Admiral. Again, it's the plastic figure. It is not the Elite, not the diecast. You've got some extra accessories. I'm gathering their Sith accessories. Forgive me for not being that deep in canon to know exactly what accessories those are. Uh, you've got a, a Clone Trooper's helmet, another helmet. You've got a chalice. You've got a lightsaber. And then you've got these lizards on a on some kind of thing. It looks like a, a planet in the middle. Again, the thing that the, the thing I noticed right off first is where is Thrawn's trademark little salamander, little you know gecko that he has on his shoulder. Uh, I don't know if one of these is supposed to be that, but those look a little bit large to be you one, know yeah. the one that sits on his throat. And 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 fans love that. The other thing I'll pick at this, this box set is it would have been cooler him and his throne. That's just yeah. the picture that you see in comics and canon that just really brings Grand Admiral Thrawn to you. Either you have him sitting in his throne or you have him standing there just in that commanding pose. So I love the figure. It looks great. It's got a great sculpt to it. Like the accessories. Great presentation. Uh, again, for a hundred bucks. That's that's where I'm at, you know, 75 bucks, 50 to 75 bucks for this, sure, 100 bucks. And then even on eBay it's going for 130 free shipping. Well, when you throw the exclusive tag on it, you know, it always pushes the price up. Yeah, but you know, the, the great thing and I appreciate this is since my time when I used to go to San Diego, now they've made it more abundant where you can yeah. order online, you don't have to be there. It's not as exclusive, yeah. even though it's still unexclusive. I like that it's exclusive and you have to order it online or you have to be there. Those are, those are great ways to have an exclusive, but I, I need Hasbro and I need Disney to really look at the character and say, what is he, what is it about him that fans like? This is great, I love it. But again, like I said, it had it been him in his throne, or maybe even a box set where he's staring out the uh, Star Destroyer. Just look, right. that's just, that's awesome. And then the other one is, it's not die cast. Because here's, I'm telling you straight up, if Admiral Thrawn gets released as the uh, Elite and the die cast, I'm getting rid of this. I don't need it. I want the die cast. That's, that's what I've been doing with all my Star Wars Black Series, is all the plastic ones out, I'm, I just want the die cast. Even if it's just the figure and not the whole box set? Uh, yeah, yeah, most of the figures. The only ones that I'm keeping is the ones that they haven't done again in diecast. See, I'm just trying to narrow down my collection. There's no point in having six inch in plastic and six inch in diecast. It's just, there's no point to it. So, for Star Wars fans out there, if you guys have been looking for a Thrawn figure, they're very few and far between. Pretty awesome figure to pick up. There is a single figure. You don't have to pay $100 for this exclusive box set. There's a $25 one 
for the regular black series. Again, I was looking today online to try to see if they made it in die cast. I haven't found anything. I haven't seen anything. So I'll be keeping my eye out for that, but there is a regular Star Wars black series figure, 25 bucks. You can add them to your collection. You won't miss out. Very nice set. If you want to pay the $100, $130 for it, by all means. For me, it's, it's a little much for what you get. You know, it's a great presentation, but I don't feel like overpaying for that presentation. So, you collect the uh, Star Wars black line? I don't, but you were right with the packaging. It it stands out. It catches your eye. It's beautiful. Without even opening it and looking at the figure, the box draws you to it. Yep. I mean, you've got him right there on the front, and then it's it's brilliant how they made the uh, what would you call this little plastic thing and it's blue so then it puts him in the blue color that, that's yeah. just brilliant marketing right there so hands off to Hasbro and Disney you guys did a great job uh, I'd look again at the prices I mean I'm sure you guys sold a ton of them so you're happy and you don't care but <laughs> you know we look out for our collectors we want things reasonably priced not overpriced so $75 is what I would pay for this uh, great addition to my Star Wars black collection you guys can find it out there in the store strongly recommend picking it up so for another edition of geek culture unboxing we'll see you geeks next time